Hello and welcome to part two of my beginner's guide to Olympic trap. So first up, where to put the gun in your shoulder. Now, I like to teach this by telling people to take their barrels off and forend off. And then think about trying to get as much contact with that recoil pad to your shoulder as possible. So with the barrels off, it's really easy to keep having a little test mount and find that pocket in your, in your shoulder where the gun just fits and is sta stable and is getting lots of contact. So also it's quite helpful if you've got a big mirror at home you can do this in front of. Um, so you just pop the gun in, not too far in on the chest, not too far out on the arm. Just in the middle there you'll feel like a sweet spot where it'll just sit. If you're having trouble finding that, just hunch your shoulder forward a little bit and just see. And you should be able to find that perfect place where the stock just fits into. So if we look at that from the side, we've also got to be careful of the height of where we're mounting the stock. So when you have a look and a feel when you're mounting, if you can feel a big gap here and, the, and lots of recoil pad above with no contact, you're mounting too high, you haven't got much stability with the gun. So if you're mounting and you can feel around and feel there's quite a bit of pad hanging out of the bottom of your shoulder, obviously that's a little bit too low. And the same thing will happen, it'll be an unstable gun mount. So somewhere in the middle there, just play around for as long as you can and find out what feels best and what works best because everybody is different sizes, different shapes. You've got to sort of work it out for yourself a little bit. So trigger hand onto the stock, very simple. There's your pistol grip, hand just comes round in the middle there. Not too low, not too high, just comfortably in the middle. And we make sure that we're not reaching off the stock to get to the trigger. So your palm wants to be in contact with the palm swell all the time. So trigger finger, quite simple. Exactly the same as all the other shotgun shooting disciplines. We want that first joint, the crease of that first joint, to be just touching the blade of the trigger and the finger coming around like that. So we don't want to use the pad of our finger or the tip, and we definitely don't want to be reaching round. It is just the crease of that first joint onto the trigger blade, and that is it. Onto the forend hand, very simple again. There's the forend, you want to avoid any extremes, so you don't want to be right up the back here against the action, and you don't want to be reaching right down over the front of the forend. Anywhere in this middle section, to suit you, we're all slightly different, so wherever feels comfortable in this middle section here is fine. Um, I like to wrap my finger round underneath the forend, like that, because it's more relaxed. I found when I used to do the finger pointing thing that a lot of people do, it causes a lot of tightness and stress across the back of the hand, the knuckle, and into the wrist. And I must admit, I started getting quite a bit of pain and problems. So I always tuck my finger around. That's personal preference and see what suits you. So one other thing you may notice on my forend here is I have a little black dot here. Now the reason for that is this sport is all about repetition, uh, attention to detail, getting everything the same for every shot. So by having this dot here, every time I mount my gun and I mount my hand onto the forend, I can mount my finger onto that dot and know that my hand is in exactly the same place every time. I can then pop my finger around into the more relaxed position and I'm ready to go. So we can now start to put all that together and start looking at elbow positioning. So I will just demonstrate the gun is empty. So I'll just do a simple mount up and we'll have a look. Now 
Now you see my elbows. They're not up. They're not right squeezed out. They're comfortably in the middle here. Okay? So they're locking the gun in, but without creating too much stress. And they're fairly equal in terms of angle. Now, the whole thing we keep coming back to is not stressing the body or causing stiffness in the body that could hamper your movement to the target. So that is what we're looking for. It's just nice, relaxed elbows. There'll be a little bit of tension in there as you put in some little bit of pressure, bringing the gun back into the shoulder. But you see, it's relaxed. Purposeful, but relaxed. So we'll now just talk about head position onto the stock. So with trap shooting and with trap guns, you tend to have a higher comb. So your head tends to be more buried right into the stock as opposed to a lot of sporting shooters. So that may be, if you come from sporting, it may be an adjustment that needs making to the gun or a temporary pad put on. But I'm gonna talk about that in the next part. So we'll just run through again a gun mount and then just talk you through the head positioning. So, gun forward, then back gently into the shoulder, head forward and down, and that's it. We don't want to be reaching massively forward, so you don't want to mount up and be trying to stretch right now. You do come forward, but it's at a point where you shouldn't be putting a lot of stress on the back of your neck. You also want to make sure you're not overly looking through your eyebrows, so you don't want to be head down. Head forward, but keeping the eyes reasonably level. So lastly, we need to talk about weight transfer and balance again, but this time, how it links in to the upper body. Now, let's be honest, I'm probably not the, the best person to teach you this, for obvious reasons, I'm in a wheelchair. So, we'll do a little bit of voiceover now, and I'll show you some pictures of the people that get it right. But it's basically just the gentle lean forward into the gun, and onto that front foot, which is where the last section of the first episode will start to become even more clear. So as a quick visual reminder, here's our feet position from last time with the red dot indicating the slight forward bias with the weight. So here's three shooters, all three of which are leaning nicely with their upper body into the shot to three varying degrees, but they are all well within acceptable tolerances. And you can see it's this forward lean that gives the Olympic trap stance its purposeful look. So in part three, we're gonna concentrate on gun fit. Up until now, I've had to assume that your gun fit is somewhere near because it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation. But in the next part, we will cover the basic gun fit that you can do something about to make sure the gun is shooting where you're looking, which is of course very important. So if you found this of some use, could you please like and subscribe? And I will see you next time. Thank you.